Okay, I'm back. I uh, finished uh, painting away my mask, and now I'm happy with it. So I'm going to go down to the bottom corner and toggle off of Quick Mask, which of course turns it into selection. And I can see that the background is selected because of the marching ants. If it was the opposite, like select uh, invert, then now with the marching ants only around the girl, now the girl is selected. So it's important to know which is selected, the background or the foreground. So I'm gonna invert it again so that my background is selected. And now I'm going to go to tools, I'm gonna to go to color tools, hue and saturation. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to shift the hue to the right for green. And look how nice, just shifting that over a little bit, how that really improves the image. And then um, I'm also going to just give it a little bit of a saturation too, just to enhance the green just a little bit. So that's a nice, that's a nice green. Um, it looks more natural, uh, and I'm, I'm happy with it, so I'm going to click OK. All right, so I've got that. Now, let's see, I'm going to I'm gonna try to save my selection. Select, and let's see here, save to channel. Just in case I want to have it again later for later use, uh, now I'll have it over here in a, uh, a reserved channel just in case I need it. Um, OK. And uh, now it's time to do some, uh, some other corrections. So I will deselect. I'll deselect. Select none, control D. And now I'm deselected. Notice these are my channels. There's the little uh, mask that I saved. And I'll go back to my layers. And I'm ready for the next part.